first of all, if you hear some um, humming in the background, it's my air conditioner. Uh, it is, the heat index here is over a hundred and my room, I have lights on and my room gets <laughs> um, sun in the morning in the front and it also gets sun in the afternoon on the side. So needless to say, I am in a bloody oven right now. Hey y'all, it's Erica over at The Broken Spine. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. Happy Tuesday. I hope your week is off to a rip-roaring good start and you had a great weekend. So today, like I said, it's Tuesday and I said that I was going to be more consistent with my top 10 Tuesdays. So here we are. It's actually more than 10, it's 13, but that's okay. What I done a while ago and I just never got this posted. I had asked you guys over on Twitter and on Instagram to select a number in between 1 and 13 and the purpose of that was because there are some books that are on a priority list for me to read by the end of the year and I just wanted you guys to have some input in what I would be reading. Without further ado, I'm going to show you the books that I want to read by the end of the year and then we will get over to the poll, to the actual, um, to the randomizer to select the book. So the first book that I have is um, Ngogi Wationgo, I think. Um, I looked up how to pronounce his name and I listened a bunch of times. So um, hopefully I Hopefully it came out correctly. Um, I'm sure it didn't, but we can hope. So anyway, it's Petals of Blood, and I got this at one of my favorite used bookstores um, last year, and I saw the cover, and I was absolutely, I, I was like, I'm going to read this, because I thought that it was like a horror, but in a sense, it kind of is, um, but it is... The puzzling murder of three African directors of a foreign-owned brewery sets the scene for this fervent, hard-hitting novel about disillusionment and independent Kenya. Petals of Blood is on the surface a suspenseful investigation of this spectacular triple murder, but as the intertwined stories of the four suspects unfold, a devastating picture emerges of a modern third world nation whose frustrated people feel their leaders have failed them time after time. I also got not too long ago, actually, if you watched, I will link it up in the cards, my um, my birthday video, I went to actually the same bookstore I got this one from and got, um, got another book by him and it's called Grains of Wheat. Um, so I'm excited to read both of those. Just using my wine bottle to prop up my books, use, them, use it as bookends, you know. Um, so it has several uses. <laughs> um, the next book that I have is Americana by Chimamanda and Gozi Adichie. I have been wanting to read this book for years. I've had it for years, just have not read it yet. The third book that I have is Sing Unburied Sing by Jasmine, Jasmine Ward. I saw a, an interview with Jasmine Ward and she was talking about this and I was like, this I am, I'm going to read by the end of the year. The next one is Ruby Ruby Fruit Jungle by Rita Mae Brown. I really enjoy uh, Rita Mae Brown's writing, so I ordered this one. I was going to read it for um, Pride Month, but you know, the pandemic and life and the pandemic, and I just really wasn't doing a whole lot of reading. The next book that I have is Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. Um. It was kind of hard for me to choose which um, Toni Morrison that I wanted to read by the end of this year. I've read Beloved and The Bluest Eye and that's it. So I decided, and I know there's, um, there's, there's some people that are doing a year-long 
read, a, read along of Toni Morrison works. I am not part of that. The next book that I have is The Other West Moore by West Moore. And this is the story. It's an, it's an autobiography um, or memoir about West Moore, the author, who was a Rhodes Scholar, got the Presidential Medal of Honor, and another West Moore who lived, they only lived a few blocks from each other in Baltimore and their paths completely diverged and they came from similar um, household backgrounds. Um, and the other Westmore ended up robbing a bank being, and was sent to jail. And um, it how, and basically it's just the investigation of how two people, same names, same environment, how they, how they took two different paths. The next one is an ARC, uh, The Good Luck Girls by Charlotte Nicole Davis. I got this from work last year. And the eighth book that I have is Akata Witch by Nettie Ahorhor. I read the Vintage Trilogy, which I really enjoyed. And this is um, the first in, um, this is a duology. And the next one is Akata Warrior, which I'm waiting on. <laughs> I ordered it and I am waiting on it patiently. So um, I, I want to read this one. And this is, um, ooh, Sunny Mwazu lives in Nigeria, but she was born in New York City. Her features are West African, but she's albino. She's a terrific athlete, but can't go out into the sun to play soccer. There seems to be no place where she fits in, and when she discovers something amazing, she is a free agent with latent magical power, and she has a lot of catching up to do. Soon, she's part of a quartet of magic students, studying the visible and invisible, learning to change reality. But just as she's finding her footing, Sunny and her friends are asked by the magical authorities to help track down a career criminal who knows magic too. Will, they'll tra will their training be enough to help them against a threat whose powers greatly outnumber theirs. So I'm excited. I really want to, I really want to read this. We'll see what the numbers have to say. The next one that I have is the second book in um, the Broken Earth trilogy, The Obelisk Escape by N.K. Jemisin. I absolutely loved the fifth season. I was supposed to read, like my book club, we read the fifth season and then um, we decided to go ahead and continue with the trilogy. And then um, COVID happened and everything closed where we were having our, um, our book club meetings and we just decided not, not to, not to meet. Then we started doing Zoom for other stuff, but we never did Zoom to like read the books, which is, which is weird. But anyway, that's... <laughs> A little more information than you needed to know, or maybe even wanted to know. The next book that I have, number 10, is uh, The Coldest Winter Ever by Sister Soldier. I've been meaning to to read it for a while, but, um, and it's also, it's also something, it's also a genre, um, urban fiction is, is a genre I don't read, so in listening to Shane and Ashley at book bookish realm talk about it I was like oh this this sounds this sounds like something I could get with so um I'm I'm excited I'm, I'm gonna say excited a lot with these but I am I am excited the next book that I have I'm actually ashamed to say that I haven't read it I really feel like I should have read it um but I didn't I haven't and I it was not assigned reading in high school and it was not assigned reading in college so I just never read it and I should have read it um, in one of the two but we won't even go there uh, but just in general I know I should have read it by now and that is I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. The next book that I have is um, one that I've heard a lot of good things about and it is Tiffany D. Jackson's um, Monday's Not Coming so um, yeah this is I think this is going to be quick read but I also think it's going to be a hard read in the sense that it's going to tug at your heartstrings. And the final book that I have is um, Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James and I was supposed to read this last year 
with someone else and they bailed on me. And then I started hearing some reviews and they weren't exactly positive. So I've just been letting it sit. But I need to, I want to read it for my own satisfaction to to see whether or not I agree or disagree. Sure. So these are all the books that I have that I want to read by the end of the year. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to random.org. Okay, so here we are at random.org. The number that got the most votes was 13. And um, then seven was the next highest and three was the one that was the, the third highest. So what my plan is to read whichever one comes up at 13, then, um, then seven and then three. And we're under the list randomizer. So I've already entered in the titles of the books. There are 13 books here. Um, so the next step to get the random number is obviously to, to hit randomize and there we go. And so, okay, yay. Um, so Petals of Blood will be the first book that I read and then the second book, which is number seven, is Song of Solomon. And then the third is The Good Luck Girls. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll just read the others, um, however, however they come up. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm going to read uh, Petals of Blood first. That was the one that came up as number 13. And then I'm going to read Song of Solomon. That was the one that came up as number seven. And the third one, which came up as number three, is The Good Luck Girls. So I'm, I'm excited. These are... I don't know why I'm trying to hold this like that, but these are the three books in frame uh, that I'm going to definitely be reading. Um, so I will read this one for sure in August. I can't read it this month, um, but I will for sure read this in August. And then we'll see if I can get both of these in July, August, September, in September. We'll see. So, um, Yay! I'm excited. I'm excited about that. So that's all I have for you guys. If you made it to the end of the video, put a fire emoji in the comments. Also, please let me know what you are reading, what you will be reading, um, if you've read any of the books that I have mentioned, and what your thoughts were. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of new content. And I will see you guys later.